crowd, this is awesome. So look, I know a lot of you folks are here on purpose this evening, you knew what the show was, you purchased the tickets, thanks for coming. <laughs> Steelers were sitting at home going, ah, there's nothing on TV, let's get drunk, go to that puppet show. So, <laughs> yes, I make a living talking to myself, which means some forms of mental illness actually pay off. <laughs> oh, you're applauding at that, you're a sick crowd, I like it already. <laughs> now, before we get to the main event, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about boys and girls. Now, when my girls were tiny little babies, I had friends and family coming to me saying, okay, you've done a fine job with little babies, we just wanna warn you what's coming next. I said, what's that? They go, the terrible twos and horrible threes. I said, really? They go, oh yeah, the toddler years. You're doing a good job, but it's, it's gonna to get tough. It's not gonna to be easy, your life is never gonna be the same. Hang on, and good luck. <laughs> and guess what happened? Nothing, everything was fine, I swear. I have no earthly idea what everybody was talking about. It wasn't until they turned like 12 or 13 that Satan came down to enter their bodies. <laughs> Nobody warned me about this. I walked in their room one morning, good morning, girls. <laughs> <laughs> They'd come home from school, how was your day? Stop talking to me like that! <laughs> I'm sorry, would you like a carrot? Why are you saying I'm fat? <laughs> I'll be in the garage with the dogs, they like me more, bye. And this kept up for a few years. Then they started turning 17, 18 years of age. And then apparently Jesus came down, killed the three Satans, <laughs> and my daughters were back. And that happened like this. I'd be like, uh, good morning, girls. Oh, good morning, Father. <laughs> May we have money? <laughs> Satan was cheaper. <laughs> oh, shut the hell up. <laughs> How are you, Walter? Who the hell cares? <laughs> but wait, I take that back. Everything is awesome. I'm suing someone for sexual harassment. <laughs> and who would you sue for sexual harassment? My wife? Your, your wife. <laughs> but she's your wife. I know, and I realize I could have avoided all this years ago with one simple word. I do not. <laughs> You ever think like that? No, my wife's an angel. Oh, you're lucky, mine's still alive. <laughs> but again, you two still actually love each other. Yeah, but then they have changed a little bit over the years. How's that? I used to say I'd jump in front of the bus to save her life. Yeah, now I think I'd just yell. <laughs> hey! Three, two, one, look out! <laughs> and about that timing, too. <laughs> and what would she do if the roles were reversed? Oh, she'd shove my ass right in front of the damn bus. <laughs> and then she'd have them stop and go back and forth just a few times for good measure. So what do you think is the biggest problem in your marriage? Everything is my fault, but it's not. Oh, she is very convincing. Really? Yeah, last week I found myself apologizing to her after she rear-ended a guy at a stoplight. How was that your fault? I have no freaking idea. I was taking a nap at our house. <laughs> you know, Walter, I forgot to ask earlier, what sexual harassment are you suing your wife for? Oh, she didn't like the noise I made during sex. Okay, that's too much information. Want to hear the noise she didn't like? No, we don't. <clears throat> Walter, get off, I'm tired. <laughs> what? You hurt her feelings. She hurt my back. <laughs> that's terrible, and it has them for years. <laughs> no, I mean, you're terrible. She said that to me for years, too. So you're saying the sex is bad? It didn't used to be. No, no, it was great. When we were young, it was like, I mean, it was like, I don't know, it was like jumping in a new car and taking it for a ride. Woohoo! You know, pushing buttons and twisting knobs. <laughs> you get it? It's an analogy, dumbass. Yes. <laughs> we get it. And that new car smell. Woo! Good Lord, uh-oh, slow down or we'll get to where we're going too fast, if you know what I'm saying. Yes. 
But now, almost 50 years later, it's like getting in that same damn car and you barely make it down the effing driveway. You get to the point you don't even want to warm her up. Sometimes you gotta choke it. But usually, I don't even want to pull it out of the garage. I don't know what that means. They do. And she does not like reverse. <laughs> yes, these well-disguised jokes are how we keep our show family-friendly. <laughs> So how did you meet your wife? Online. Oh, on a dating website? Yeah. Uh, Ancestry.com. <laughs> How about Jay? Well, it was better than when I accidentally tried Ancestry.com. <laughs> I felt bad swiping left on my own sister. <laughs> But I actually had to swipe twice to get all of her off the screen. Papa <laughs> Jay. Okay, it was more than twice. <laughs> swiping, 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 swiping. <laughs> but my sister's uglier than my wife. Come on, well, she looks like me. Oh, come on, you think you're ugly? Well, no. Well, that's good, but if I was a girl, hell yeah. <laughs> I gotta say, though, there's nothing wrong with being ugly, but my sister has got it down. <laughs> On a scale of one to 10? Oh, I can't do fractions. <laughs> How far apart in age are you and your sister? We're twins? Oh, identical twins? Oh, well, wait, you can't be identical if you're a different sex. A different sex, right. You mean like when my wife wants to use stuff from my toolbox? <laughs> oh, come on, you know women had cordless power tools long before men did. <laughs> and when she says she loves her double Ds, yeah, she's talking about batteries, I got it. <laughs> Papa Jay, different sex means you're male and your sister's female. Oh, right. Wiener and wiener free. <laughs> hey, I was thinking about this. Since a guy has a wiener, does that mean that technically he cannot be a vegan? <laughs> oh, wait, my prego sister can't be vegan either. Why not? <laughs> hey, sis, got milk? <laughs> So this is the unmarried, not so pretty sister? Yeah. Does she have a boyfriend? No. How'd she get pregnant? She's so stupid when she robbed the bank. Yeah. Turns out it was a stern bank. <laughs> but, but Jay, how do you how do you rob a sperm bank? Well, you start by telling everybody to put their hands up. Yeah, that's a thinker right there. I guess so. <laughs> you can see some folks explaining it to the other ones. <laughs> Please help me welcome the personal advisor to Donald Trump, my new friend, Larry. So Larry, how long have you worked for the president? About four hours? He hired you four hours ago. Well, he fired me before breakfast, then rehired me after lunch. Oh, you heard of Taco Tuesdays? Yeah, Trump has fire in Fridays. <laughs> and what does Melania say when people get fired? Take me with you. <laughs> Do you think it's true there might be a problem in Trump's marriage? Oh, no, no, he just went through a stormy patch. Oh, screw you, that's a good joke. <laughs> and, and what is your exact job title again? Personal advisor to the president. You advise the president? Yes. Really? I try, I swear to God, I try. How's that going for you? Look at me. <laughs> Look at 
You're a little stressed out. Oh, you think? <laughs> It's not lit. No, that I am! No. Wait, wait, wait! Wait, wait a minute! Wait a second! Do you know who I haven't seen in a while? Who? Jose. That's right. Jose the Jalapeno on a stick. Yeah. You gonna get him out? Well, you know, Peanut, in today's politically correct climate, there are a few people who think it's not okay for me to even be talking to Jose. <laughs> hang on, hang on. I say we take a vote. What? Hell yes. Okay, here we go. Who does not want to see Jose Jalapeno and thinks we should not have him in the show? Okay, then who does going to see Jose Jalapeno out here now? Well, if this is being reported by one of many of the news outlets today, they would say that was really close. <laughs> I guess Jose's in. He's actually right here. Check it out. Look, 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 look. Are you ready? Si, sí, senor. Okay, for the folks who might not know, tell them who you are. My name is Jose. Jose what? Jose Jalapeno. Right. On the stick. Mm -hmm. Jose, you told me earlier today that you wanted to tell us something important. Si, sí, senor. I hate to have to say this, but I want to leave the show. <gasps> yes! Wait, wait a minute. What do you mean you want to leave the show? Hold on. I think I know what he means. I think he means he wants to leave the show. <laughs> Jose would have said that in Spanish, but out of all three of us, only Jose knows that language. <laughs> I am not kidding. Jose can speak Spanish, but Jeff cannot. It's the weirdest fucking thing. <laughs> language. Oh, sorry. It's the weirdest el fucking thing. Oh. Jose, why do you want to leave the show? He can't leave the show. Exactly, we need you. No, I mean, he actually can't leave the show. Why not? He doesn't have any legs. <laughs> All I need is my steak. <laughs> At least that's what your mother said. <laughs> what the hell? You know, you could try and leave, but you'd fall down. They need the Jose Jalapeno on the floor. <laughs> With your mother. And then I would probably step on him and break his stick. Then he'd be Jose Jalapeno with a broken stick on the floor. <laughs> another another joke, Jose? No, this time it was your sister. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? I'm gonna kick his ass! I don't have an ass. Oh, come stick or whatever the hell there is there, Peanut. Come on! I come to think of it, I see he can't get away, but maybe that stick is actually a wooden leg, so then he's Jose Jalapeno on a wooden leg. But no, a leg always has a knee, there's no knee on that stick, but there could be a knee to cut the stick in half and put a hinge on it, but then his name would have to be Jose Jalapeno on two halves of the stick with a hinge. <laughs> Doesn't exactly roll off your tongue, does it? <laughs> no, but your sister did. Jose, why do you want to quit the show? I've been living a lie. I want to be an astronaut. <laughs> Peanut? No, no, this is great. Jose, the astronaut. And it would be great if they need a space shuttle with a clutch. Why? Jose could be the stick. <laughs> Greeting, Texas Infrared! Wait, 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 before we get started, I have a question. Yes? Was it bad that I unplugged my cousin's life support to charge my phone? <laughs> Are you kidding? No, I was at 3%. <laughs> what about your cousin? He's now at 0%. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to hear that, Ahmed. And how did he end up on life support? Well, my uncle said, pull my finger, and they both exploded. <laughs> it's not funny! 
Don't make me say it. I'm not ready. <laughs> hey, you want to know the joke I pull on folks when they're in the hospital? A joke? What do you do to people in the hospital? The ringtone on my phone is the same noise as the heart monitor when you die. <laughs> what? Yeah, I stand next to their bed and my phone rings and all everyone hears is <laughs> Then I answer, oh, you just missed him. That's a little dark. Look who you're talking to. <laughs> oh, wait, when my cousin died, you should have been there. Why? You could have made him talk one last time. <laughs> oh, wait, that is genius. You should hang around funeral homes and scare the crap out of folks. <laughs> or even at the funeral. Dearly beloved, here lies Uncle Charlie. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Best YouTube video ever. <laughs> Are you a good father? Of course, but sometimes I get very angry with my kids and I tell them I'm going to kill them. That's not good. I don't know, coming from me, it's kind of effective. <laughs> and what do you say exactly? Either go do your homework or take my backpack to the market. Your choice. <laughs> so Ahmed, we've been talking a little bit about politics tonight and you've been in this country for a long time now. Politically, if you were a citizen here, would you go Democratic or Republican? Oh, yikes, those are my choices. <laughs> I'd like to die a thou, please. <laughs> but seriously, would you ever consider politics? If you could, would you run for office? No, no, I run from an office after I set the timer. <laughs> That's my job, stop laughing! <laughs> Not yet. And that's another thing that's pissing me off. What? My 72 virgins have all now joined the Me Too movement. I can't even call them virgins anymore. No, no. I see. Now they insist on being called the 72 consenting strong women of character. Bloody f***ing blood. Almost. Hey, know what happens now if I take a Viagra? What? I get locked jaw. Silence! I kill you! <laughs> oh, am I a rock and roll badass or what? Let's do the whole thing together. Three, two, one. Silence! I kill you! <laughs> That's fantastic. I just helped 10,000 folks commit a felony. Yay! 